The people of today's world are no strangers to war. Battles are taking place in Afghanistan, Syria, and all over the world. Soldiers from all walks of life have made tremendous sacrifices. The United States has been involved in the turmoil of revolution for many years. We know war. We have lost so many of our brave soldiers. One such soldier that has been lost and unaccounted for is Bo Bergdahl, the only American prisoner of war. Bergdahl disappeared from his base in southern Afghanistan in June 2009 and has been held captive by the Taliban ever since. Do you know about any of the U.S. prisoners of war? Uh, I do not. I don't really know. No. Did you know we had one who has was captured in 2009 and still hasn't been returned? I did not know that. It's bad. It's very bad. Is that the one that was in that time? It seems shocking that few Americans have ever heard about Bo's disappearance. Why hasn't the U.S. government kept his name in the spotlight in hopes of getting him out of captivity? His story recently surfaced after years of silence when his family received a letter from him assuring them that he is alive and well. They had not had any updates on Bo's condition since receiving a video released by the Taliban in May of 2011. Colonel Tim Marsano of the Idaho National Guard says that all indications supported the handwritten letter's authenticity. It's hard to imagine what this family has been going through since their son's capture, and even harder to think about what Bo has had to endure. Does he feel like his country has forgotten about him? Because it sure seems like we have not treated this situation with any amount of importance. You would think that every American would know his name and that we would be collectively rallying for his release. We may have been in the dark before, but now we see. And we shouldn't look away. We need to rally around the Bergdahl family and pull for Bo until he finally returns to the land of the free and the home of the brave.